Samsung is going full steam ahead with its One UI 7 update based on Android 15. So now that most, if not all, of the bugs have been squashed, we're seeing more people actually starting to use the new firmware update. And many of us are not happy with how the quick settings panel and the notification panels are being kept separate. Thankfully though, this is not a permanent change and I can show you how to combine them together just like they were in One UI 6. Sadly, Samsung is automatically changing these settings and forcing people with the new update to One UI 7 to use that divided design. But it's great to see that it is not required and the company is not currently trying to force people to adopt it. And that means that we can combine the quick settings panel and the notification panels just like we had it. We start by swiping down from the right side of the screen. And this will reveal controls and tiles for what most people will refer to as the quick settings panel. And you're going to want to look for the pencil icon that appears in the top right corner. Let's go ahead and tap on that. And then you're going to want to look in the top left corner for the panel settings button and go ahead and tap that. And this is where Samsung has hidden its settings for changing the design of your quick setting and notification panels. As mentioned, by default, this will be set to separate, but we can switch this back to how it was with Android 14 by selecting the together option. And you even get some additional customization features when using this style of menu. But once you have changed this over to the together setting, you can just tap that home button, go back to the home screen and test things out. You'll immediately notice that no matter where you slide down from the top of the screen, you're getting your old notification and quick setting combined panels. You'll notice that the panels from the top of the screen will act like they used to with a single swipe down revealing your notifications along with some popular quick settings tiles and it won't matter which side of the screen that you swipe down from. Then a second swipe down will hide all of those notifications and show you the entire quick settings panel. Don't get me wrong, I'm not a fan of the new design that seems to be happening with Samsung's version of Android 15 and Google's version of Android 16. Although I do appreciate that neither companies are currently forcing its customers to use one design or another. We've actually seen this from other OEMs who just want to switch to the way Apple does things with iOS but I actually like how Android has kept things separate since we still have the ability to swipe down using two fingers to fully reveal the quick settings panel with a single gesture. Let's just hope that this doesn't end up being mandatory in the next big update they push out. But I would like to hear what you all think about this new setup. Do you like how the panels are kept separate after this update? Or are you like me and instantly want to change things back to how they were? Go ahead and share your thoughts down in the comment section below. And please do not forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more Samsung Galaxy tips like this.